Hey guys, it's Kui from Spool Performance and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to install our brand new DIY Stage 2 transmission kit. First off, we're going to start with the transmission out of the car already, of course. Uh, go ahead and pull out the torque converter. As you can see, just pull it straight out. Careful not to let the leverage fall down on it. Go ahead and put your torque converter to the side. Next, you would want to flip the transmission over so you can see the oil pan. Go ahead and remove these T40s from the bottom. We already removed all the screws and just like that, you have access to the transmission inside. Next, you would want to remove this connect. I found it that it was easier to use a plier and a small pick or a screwdriver to pull this connector out. And then you have three bolts, one on top, bottom, and the left side. Now you have access to the bolts on the bottom. There's going to be a connector for your sensor. Just one like that and pull straight out. And then you have another bolt that retains the clip for your connector. Pull that straight out just like that and pull the connector out. Set those to the side. Now you're going to flip it over back so you can see the valve body. So there's a couple bolts here. You want to only get the big bolts. You can see that it's different size, but they're going to be T40 as well. There's a few of them, so go ahead and just use your tool to take it out. Set the bolts to the side. Now, once all of your bolts are out, carefully pull the valve body straight outwards, like so. It should come out very easy. If it doesn't, you probably have one bolt that's still staying on there. Go ahead and put that to the side. Now, flip the transmission over to the rear, and you have this nut. Go ahead and just take that out with the impact and pull the sprocket out, like so. Now you're going to want to flip the transmission over so you can see the bell housing. You have a few bolts here, they're going to be T50. Go ahead and use your impact to remove those. You're going to want to throw these away and reuse new bolts. And it's not shown in the video, but you do have a O-ring that's on your input shaft. So remember to take that off before removing your oil pump. And to remove the oil pump, you just go ahead and get a pry tool and pry right here. And it should come out just like that. Go ahead, carefully remove it, set it to the side. So once you have your A brake out along with your oil pump, and then you can go ahead and remove your B brake clutches. One by one, just carefully remove it. You might need to wiggle the input shaft to take one by one out. And here we, can take that big gear out that's holding all of it in and just set those to the side we're not going to be needing those anymore now to pull the whole basket out you're going to want to pull that neutral lever and hold the input shaft and just pull straight out careful it is heavy you don't want to scratch anything now you can put your whole transmission housing to the side we will not be needing that until later now starting the disassembly of the basket you want to have it in the upright position and use some of your pry tools to remove the c-clip once that c-clip is out of the way you can just pull the input shaft out and set that to the side and go ahead and remove this gear right here you do have a couple bearings in there you don't want to lose and go ahead and remove this other c-clip and just set that to the side and pull this planetary gear out of the way now you're going to remove your c and e basket put that to the side and then you can finally remove your D clutch assembly. Now once you have all of clutch sets out, we're going to show you how to disassemble it and put in our spool DIY transmission upgrade kit in. So starting on the C and E basket, very simple. You're going to use some small pry tools to remove these C clips as shown right here. Set that to the side and remove this sprocket gear. And there's gonna be another C-clip. You wanna move it out the way, just like that. Set those to the side. And you have your E-clutch out and your C-clutch. 
Set the basket to the side, you won't be needing it till later. Now moving on to our D clutch, you have a C clip right here. Go ahead and remove that. It's very simple, just like so. Set that to the side. And as shown right here, you can set aside your stock or OEM clutches. And you're going to want to go ahead and grab your spool performance clutches and steels. And a quick note, before installing all of the clutches and steels, you want to pre-soak them in transmission fluid for about 10 minutes and go ahead and grab your assembled D clutch and set it in. So go ahead and put in your applied plate and then you're going to put in your friction and then your steel and then you're going to alternate back and forth friction and steel ending with your pressure plate as shown in the video. Finally, you can get your C-clip, put it in. It should be very easy, starting on one side, working your way around, and it should just snap right in. Now, once you have that in, go ahead and set your D-clutch to the side. And next, we're gonna move on to our A-brake, which is attached with your oil pump. Go ahead and remove the C-clip gently it should be very easy shown right here it comes out just like that set that clip to the side and pull out the sprocket and you want to be mindful that there is a steel and wave plate that's still sitting on the bottom go ahead and remove that go ahead and grab your spool performance kit and you're going to want to drop in a steel plate first and then go ahead and grab your sprocket, putting a friction first, and then steel, and then alternating back and forth, ending with your pressure plate. That simple. Go ahead and put your C-clip back in, work your way around it, and it should just snap right in. Go ahead and put that to the side. And now, moving on forward, with our C and E clutch, you will need a special compressing tool. Uh, we found one on Amazon that made our job 10 times easier. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just compress it down, shown in the video, and remove these C clips. Be careful, these C clips like to jump out and shoot at you, so just put a rag or put your hand over it while you're using your tool to take it out. You do not want to lose these. These are very important to each of these hubs. So shown right here, just go ahead and pry it out. Just like that. And you have your clips retaining it out. Once you have the clip out, you can go ahead and decompress it. And remove that piston. You're going to want to keep this spring and that sprocket, everything else you can just set aside. We're not going to be needing those anymore. You're going to want to go ahead and grab your spool performance C hub along with your spring, and you're going to want to go ahead and assemble it as shown right here. And just like that, you can go ahead and put your piston back over. Go ahead and get your compressing tool. And the C hub is almost done. Just putting in your clip and you're done with the C hub. Moving on to our E hub. Same thing, go ahead and just Put it in your compressing tool. Careful not to mess up the surfaces. You wanna evenly compress it. Go ahead and remove that clip. Careful, it will fly out at you. And just remove your piston just like that. And for your E-hub, you're going to wanna either get new seals or reuse the ones from your OEM. But you do wanna keep spring as well. To want to go ahead and grab your spool performance E-hub, you're going to starting with the backing plate, 
put your friction steel back and forth just like that. Once your seals are on there and your spring, you can go ahead and grab your piston, put it back on there and onto our compressing tool, compress it down and put your clip back in. And that is pretty much for your e-hub. Very simple. Now once your E and C hub is assembled, we're going to go ahead and start reassembling the whole transmission. And then for our C and E, you're going to want to grab the baskets for it and drop in your C clutch and hub first, shown in the video. And careful, you should have a bearing on the bottom of it and on top. So just be mindful and make sure you don't lose your bearings. Once you have your E clutch in there, go ahead and grab your snap ring and set it in place. Work your way around it slowly. Make sure you have it in the correct groove. Once you have your snap ring in there, go ahead and take that gear we took out earlier, set it on top just like that, and set your other snap ring in. Okay, once you have your C and E basket in, you're going to want to grab that whole assembly and put it in this other aluminum basket. Go ahead and take your planetary gear and set it in and grab your c-clip and snap it in it can only go in one way so just like that and that's your c and e hoe assembly now you're going to want to grab your d clutch and set it in the big basket like so and then you have grooves right here for your clutches on this bigger c and e basket you want to make sure those are aligned before dropping it in. And if it's not aligned, it's okay. You can just drop it in and spin it back and forth until it falls into place. Shown right here. So once you have your C and E basket, go ahead and grab this bigger gear. Set it on there. And then you can go ahead and grab your input shaft. Drop it in like so. It should drop in with no resistance, just like that. Very simple and easy. And go ahead and grab your snap ring. This only goes in one way as well. Once you have that in, you can grab that bigger gear and set it on top, like so. And now your whole basket assembly is ready to go into your transmission housing. Now go ahead and grab that whole basket and slide it in. Careful not to scratch it, it is very heavy. Slide it all the way to the back, just like so. Okay, now you can go ahead and grab your B brake. You're gonna wanna start by dropping in your backing plate first, which is gonna be the thicker one. And then alternating back and forth with a friction and steel and ending with your applied plate. Go ahead and put this ring in and you can finally grab your A brake slash oil pump and slide it in. Careful not to scratch anything while you're sliding it in. Once you have that in, do not forget to put that O-ring back. Go ahead and grab your screws and screw it in like so. And you're going to take your valve body, put it on, be careful with that neutral brake, and grab your screws and screw it in. Everything should sit flush and it shouldn't be very hard to screw it in, so just be mindful of that. If there is any resistance, you have something in the way that shouldn't be. Go ahead and torque everything down. And put in your connector and push that clip back down. Put in that screw that holds it. Slide it right back on. Three bolts. Just go ahead and screw it in. 
Now once that is done, you can take your oil pan. You can either reuse it or get a new one because the filter is built into the pan. And go ahead and button everything up just like in the video. And just like that, the install is complete. And that's the basic rundown on our brand new Spool Performance Transmission Install Guide. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. The final step is to put the transmission back in your car and you'll be ready to put down all the power you want. All courtesy of Spool Performance. Yeah.